Welcome, in this video I will show you how to install Windows 11 from USB on your ASUS ROG Xbox Ally X. In order to perform this kind of operation you're gonna need a uh, USB flash drive that supports USB Type-C connection type. Uh, in my case I'm using this Kingstone Frankenstein, I don't know its name, uh, but uh, uh, yeah, uh, it just... Uh, it's it's a USB flash drive in which you insert the micro USB um, the micro SD card and it, uh, and then you can flash uh, your device using it. Unfortunately, I tried uh, inserting the um, micro SD into the device uh, to see if if it uh, if the BIOS can see it, and unfortunately, it didn't uh, work for me. So so yeah, I recommend uh, trying to do. To do the same thing with the with the USB flash drive with the USB Type C connection type, and the other thing that you're gonna need is the uh, PC, uh, the other PC uh, in which you're gonna have to insert this uh, USB flash drive in order to boot a uh, an ISO image on it, so that we can uh, we can uh, get the uh, the Windows 11 copy to install on this device. Now, uh, what you have to do first is, uh, well, switch to your uh, PC on which we're gonna be creating an ISO image. Okay, so we are here right now. Uh, the first thing that we're gonna have to do is open the web browser and search for uh, Windows 11 ISO download. Find the official Microsoft.com website that says download Windows 11 and open it. And here, scroll down to download Windows 11 disk image and uh, expand this list. Select Windows 11 multi edition and click confirm. Uh, then select the product language from the list and click confirm once again. Wait until your request is validated. And now once you see the 64-bit download button right here, just click on it and wait until your ISO image is downloaded. It can, well, take a lot of time. Oh yeah, and uh, the two two important things. First of all, you're gonna need uh, 7.2 gigabytes of uh, storage on your uh, USB flash drive. And second thing, if you have any personal files on your uh, flash drive, back them up somewhere else because we're gonna need to format this uh, device uh, and now about formatting and everything else uh, we are also gonna need to use the roughest program so look it up uh, in your uh, in Google or any other search engine uh, the official w website is roughest.ie open it then you have to scroll down to download section and download the latest version which is at the very top of the list just click on it and uh, open your download history and try to run this program and if it doesn't start i uh, can click no we don't, we're not gonna need it uh, y uh, you can uh, well download uh, the roughest and in case roughest doesn't start just uh, uh, download this x86 version and it will surely work on your computer okay so now in the roughest program we're gonna need to select the device uh, the device is the USB flash drive that you have connected to your PC that we're gonna need to, for the ISO image for the bootable ISO image so select your USB flash drive right here and once your ISO image is downloaded we're gonna have to select it by clicking select and selecting it from the downloads folder well, as you can see that we have 30 seconds left, so once the ISO image is downloaded, click select right here and then click on your ISO Windows 11 image to, to use it. Then you don't have to, to change anything here, we're gonna, not going to need any of this, just click start. Don't check any checkboxes and if you have uh, anything checked here just uncheck all the checkboxes and click OK then uh, you're, we're gonna have to wait for a pop-up window okay here it is 
or pop up notification. Uh, so this is the warning that everything will be formatted on the USB flash drive. So if you have, haven't hadn't done this already, uh, back up all your data uh, somewhere else from your USB flash drive if you have any data on it. And click OK. And then we're gonna have to wait until the status bar right here says ready. It's gonna take a while. Okay, and once the status bar says ready, you can close this program, then safely eject your USB flash drive from the computer. And now let's switch back to the ASUS console. Okay, uh, now eject your USB flash drive from the computer and insert it into the console into one of the available USB Type-C slots. I also highly, well, uh, also plug in the charging cable into your console so that it charges, it's, so that it's charging in, uh, during the in Windows installation process. And now to start the process, you have to press the power button once uh, uh, once your your tablet uh, your uh, console is uh, switched off, and then start repeatedly pressing minus or vol volume down button until the bi uh, bias menu appears on your screen. And in the bias menu, what we want to do is tap boot menu right here, and now uh, you you can see Windows Boot Manager, which is uh, the system your device uh, that's not something that we need it's, it's just the SSD installed in, into your device uh, what we want to select is the UEFI generic SSD uh, or the US, uh, USB uh, well uh, yeah one of these two partitions uh, I recommend going with the, with the first one if you have two partitions right here to select to navigate here now use uh, up and down uh, arrow buttons and to select press A. So this way let's select the first partition and now wait for the installation screen to appear. Okay, now you can see the installation screen though I can see that it's barely visible so let me just zoom in the camera. Okay, so uh, now you can basically use the touchpad you have on the on the console but let me let me focus the camera give me a moment okay so as you can see we have language to install which we have already cho uh, chosen so we cannot change it but you can expand this list and well <laughs> try to choose the, the time and currency format uh, well unfortunately it's hardly achievable because you have to use touchpad for that for this purpose and uh, you can you can see the size of my fi finger compared to, to this window uh, so uh, but it, you can basically ch change it by tapping on the on the other value that you need uh, so Where's the US? Okay, let it be. Then uh, tap next to confirm. Uh, then choose your keyboard or input method. Again from this list. Tap next, then select I agree everything will be deleted including files, apps and settings to confirm and tap next once again. Then wait for a moment. Okay, and now you're gonna have to accept the license agreement to continue and wait for a while. And now we're gonna have to We're gonna have to erase all the existing partitions for starting from one to five. So 
uh, just select each of these partitions, then tap delete partition. And once the all the partitions are erased, uh, you can tap next to proceed. Then tap install. Once again, make sure that your device is has a charging cable plugged into it. And now you just have to wait until the Windows 11 is installed and then we'll uh, go further to the ins uh, well then you're gonna have to see the setup screen on your device. Okay, and once you see the setup screen, that means the that the installation process is finished. So, uh, if you want to know how to set up your Windows on this device, uh, you can check it, the separate video on our channel, and you're highly welcome to do so if you want to. And, but for this video, that will be all. Uh, by the way, you can now uh, eject the USB flash drive from your device and uh, that will be it so thank you so much for watching this video if you liked it please consider subscribing to our channel leave us a like in the comment below and i'll see you in the next one